Clearly, markets are underwhelmed with the results so far. They're slowing growth. Do we need to sort of reconcile with this new reality of slower growth? And why is that? Well, you know, I think there's this part where, you know, because devices and hardware have been Apple's history for so long, there's a set of expectations around those kinds of products. But I think growth in the future is going to be slower in some ways. When you look at the services market, um, you know, we're not getting seven, eight hundred, a thousand dollars at a time. You know, every 99 cent game that's sold returns about 30 cents to Apple. And so I think it's just and it's also the other part of it is, is when you look at the upgrade cycles, those are slowing. These devices are amazing. And you have to be a user of games or some of the more what I'd call the more demanding applications on the phone to really need that upgrade. I don't need a 10 to do email. I do need a 10 to play the latest video games. And so it's related. Right, but there's a lot of excitement around services because it's creating a revenue stream that's not dipping seasonally. And if we mm -hmm. look over the span of several years, it's been steadily climbing up. Is there something Apple should be doing to create faster growth there? I mean, the services revenue is composed of many different products. Yeah, so I think the hard thing is, is it's hard to accelerate that growth. So on one hand, when they do get a customer, especially for a subscription service, that's steady and that goes long term. But this is also, services are a lot more dependent upon ecosystem partners. So whether it's Apple Pay, or it's music, or it's media, or what's in their media library, Apple just can't flip a switch and make that all happen. It's kind of like grinding it out day by day to sign up more partners, negotiate deals, get more services. The more devices that a consumer owns within the ecosystem, the more valuable those services are. But it's something that grows much more slowly, I believe, and much more organically. It's not about a big bang, wow, I have to have that new product once a year. It's, you know, it's slower. And given the importance of the services business and mm -hmm. how difficult it is, how concerning is the fact that the app store sales in China have slowed and there are these regulatory issues around the gaming licenses? Yeah, so I think that's a component of that that they're going to have to work through. And that's certainly, you know, an important element of that market. And I think, you know, one of the benefits they'll get is if they can accelerate that, you know, those are certainly the kinds of applications that drive demand for new hardware.